Hello guys, um, today we are going to talk about uh, microscope. Um, before I go ahead and talk about how microscope works, it, all, it is all spelled out in your lab manual, in your handout, in, uh, of course in modules. And then, um, before I tell you how it works, of course you have to know the name of the parts. Before you learn how to drive, you had to know the name of uh, the parts of the vehicle, where the gas pedal is, where the brake is, where the wheel is, uh, lights, and so on and so forth, the signals, same thing here. Before we uh, go ahead and tell you what, how it works, I have to tell you what are the parts. So, let's start quickly, and then there's not much into it. You have three pictures of this same microscope in the modules, so um, make sure you know the parts for lab practical purposes. Right here, these two lenses for two eyes is called ocular lens or eyepiece. It is all spelled out in your uh, lab manual uh, handout. So these are eyepiece or ocular lenses. You can adjust them based on your eye. Everybody's distance of the eye is different. So, and then this is called arm, stage, and then these are called the objective lenses. There are three different objective lenses which I will talk about them as you can see they rotate I will talk about them and uh, what each one of them will do and then on the bottom you have you see what is moving up and down the whole entire thing is called condenser what is moving and of course this is the knob that moves it up and down right so you can see that this is the uh, light power the light source uh, coarse adjustment, fine adjustment, arm, base. And then you can turn on and off the microscopes from back here. As you can see, I turn it on and now it's off. So back here, every microscope is different where the on and off switch is. In, our, in this case, it is in the back of the microscope. And of course, you can adjust the amount of light right here. You can see what is happening to the amount of the light right here. Okay? So... Uh, quickly, one more time, uh, I'm just, oh, right here in the condenser, you have a diaphragm. This uh, adjusts the amount of the light for you. And then if you look at the other side of the microscope, uh, you have a picture of it also. This is where I'm sure you were exposed to microscopes in the past, and then you had to move the slide with your fingers, but not here. You put the slide up here, and look, I'm moving the slide. I'll show you. Let's grab one slide. Right here, and if you look, the slide is being moved back and forth. Uh, top, bottom, side, side with this knob. So you don't move the slide like this. You move the slide with this and that. I hope, I hope that makes sense. Okay, so anyhow, let's put it back here. First of all, uh, you always carry a microscope with two hands, one on the arm and one on the bottom of the base. That's how you carry microscope from your cabinet to your bench. So if one hand is loose, you, you, you can you grab the microscope with the other hand. Uh, these are expensive equipment, so keep, keep uh, take care of them, please. And I'm going to bring the uh, condenser all the way to the top. It depends on how much light you want to use and so on and so forth. So ocular lens or eyepiece, arm, stage, uh, course adjustment, fine adjustment, uh, base, light source, condenser, uh, this one, this is what is moving up and down, and in the condenser you have diaphragm, um, uh, turn on and off switch, power cord here, I hope you guys can see everything um, in uh, that. Okay, so, if, uh, if you grab the mic, let's go over uh, how to use the microscope. You grab the microscope uh, with two hands, put it on a bench, you plug it in, which already plugged it in, you turn on the microscope right, uh, right here. And then you put the slide, you grab this, you pull it back, nothing goes underneath, like old days, you pull it back, you leave the slide here, and then you let it go, okay? Then you look through the ocular lens and move the course adjustment up. 
You see, whenever you get the microscope, it's supposed to be down. So I'm going to bring the condenser up and look at the cover slip right here. This is called cover slip. And then you put it in here. Then you move the slide um, uh, and look and move the cover slip on top of the uh, condenser. Right? I can see. Now I know I have something. I should have something on the microscope. But if, I was, if it was like this, definitely I would not have anything on the microscope. Just plain glass. But now this is on top. Oh, come on. This is on top of the condenser, the cover slip is on top of the condenser, then I know I have something in there. You look through the ocular lens and then bring the course adjustment up. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, and of course you are on red lens, and we'll talk about lenses on the uh, board here in a minute. You are on a red lens or scanning power or uh, f uh, 4x, okay? So, and you bring it up, as soon as you see something, right here you stop and you can use the fine adjustment. Then you want to see it bigger, you go to the next lens, right here, use the coarse adjustment and fine adjustment, you see it clear and perfect, right? Then you go to the next power, you want to see it bigger and that would be your um, high power, the blue lens. That for the blue lens, you only use fine adjustment. You cannot use coarse adjustment. If you use a coarse adjustment, you might break the slide. You will break the slide. I had a student uh, just uh, last semester, a couple of semesters ago, broke the slide because she was not paying attention. But anyhow, so you cannot use this one when you go to blue lens or high power. Whenever you're finished, exactly opposite of what you've done. Just like pilots, you ask pilots what is the hardest part of flying a plane, they say landing it. Okay, I hope this is not the hardest part. It's harder part for you to remember. You just want to snack the slide and go home, but you gotta go back. You gotta go back the slides, and then, uh, of course, you bring the course adjustment all the way down, bring the stage all the way down, bring it all the way down, and then take the slide off of the microscope. Okay, so quickly, one more time, you put the slide in here, you look through the scanning power. While you're looking up here, you move the course adjustment up, up, up until you see something. You see letter E, whatever it is. Then you rotate. And of course, use a fine adjustment and course adjustment. Rotate to the low power from scanning power. You're, uh, you're going to 10x low power. Use, you, you are allowed to use the course adjustment. That is fine. Use the fine adjustment, make it clear crisp. While you're looking, while you're looking, you're supposed to do that. Then you go to the next lens. You hear that click? If you do not hear that click, you see darkness. It's total darkness. Okay, so then use the fine adjustment only. And then uh, when you're finished, you find it. Of course, it's bigger, and I'll go over that here a little bit. And then when you're finished, you go backward. And then you move the course adjustment all the way down. And then grab the slide and put it in the right tray. Whatever tray, whatever slide you were looking at. Okay, then let's go ahead and I'll show you what um, these are all about um, quickly. Uh, right here there is a lot of reflection of light in, um, um, I hope uh, you guys can see things a little bit oh maybe I should turn off some lights but anyhow um, try to do your best so it's scanning power you guys the scanning power is 4x so the objective lens is 4x the ocular lens is 10x so 4 times 10, based on laws of lenses, is 400. You see something on the microscope, on the scanning power, the red lens that I showed you, 40 times bigger, okay? Why 40 times bigger? Because the ocular lens, I didn't write it down here, ocular lens is 10x. 10 times 4 is 40. If you have physics, you know what I'm talking about. 
Then low power, a yellow lens is 10x. It magnifies anything for you 10 times, times the 10x from our clear lens, the eyepiece, so it's 100. So total magnification for low power is 100. Total magnification for high power, for high power it is 400, okay? So um, also I uh, ask you guys to look at uh, a few other things, excuse me, I have to go back and forth. I wish I had a cameraman, I don't, um, right here. So when you look at one of the properties of a microscope, I hope I can see, you can see the whole entire thing right here, the great Delta College logo, I have to say the great. Okay, right here. So let's look at um, letter E. Anything on microscope you look at, it is, oh, sorry, it is upside down. I hope you can see that. Letter E, look at it, it's upside down. But in biology, we don't need to know. We are not reading scripture, and we are not reading anything on, um, uh, on the microscope. So if you look at a cell, which is round like this, it doesn't matter you're looking at it upside down, right? Something like that, it doesn't matter. Uh, if the cell was rectangular, I have a plant cell here. You look at a rectangular cell, it doesn't matter. So for all purposes, in, in our case, it does not matter if a slide is upside down or not. This is, this is the same microscope as uh, uh, the other one, but this one is connected to, um, uh, to computer. The other one does not have the ability to connect to computer. So uh, I'm seeing on 4X, let's go and look at it under 10X. And under 10X, you cannot see the entire letter E. You only can see portions of it. Okay, hope I'm making some sense. So here is the cross, here is a portion of the circle. You cannot see the entire letter E. And then the next one on high power, and then I'm only using fine adjustment lock. You only see a fragment of letter E. You cannot see the entire letter E. Just a piece of it. There is an exercise I'm going to remove and then I'm rotating my lenses back, you guys, right? And then there is an exercise in there. Uh, I ask you guys to um, uh, put a ruler right here. Uh, these are transparent ruler. And I hope uh, you don't want to use the inches. You want to use the metric system. You put the metric system on the microscope and see how many lines do you see. Anywhere you can put it on the microscope. As long as you can move um, um, the lens. And right here you focus it. Of course, I'm going to focus it for my eyes. This is scanning power. I ask you guys to look at it under low power. Under low power, if I move, I almost see three lines. I can see on the microscope three lines. Let's move it a little bit farther. You guys, yeah, well, no. Well, okay, uh, sorry about that. Uh, well, let's move it a little bit back and forth. Right here is another line on the microscope. And of course, you put it on the projector, uh, you mag magnify it a little bit. But on the microscope, you only can see these three lines a portion of this line, all of that line, and then a portion of that line, of course, on the, on the screen. But imagine, imagine that uh, right from here to here on the microscope is two millimeters, right? One millimeter, two millimeters, two millimeters, right? I, I ask you uh, to grab a ruler and I put the ruler right here. Put the ruler on the microscope and based on that there is two, I can only see two millimeters. Then what I said, if I go, if I want to measure an animal, an organism, where is my cell? Okay, so if I have a cell on the microscope this big, so how much, how many of these guys I can fit in in here? Let's say I can fit about uh, six of them. So 
two millimeters divided by six, that would be the size of this cell. So you can measure the size of cells on the microscope. And from here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can fit six, uh, two millimeter divided by six. But I gave you a formula in your handout. That is the formula right here. Let's look at it. So the diameter right here, you can see that uh, hopefully the diameter of the and I, uh, I made the calculation, diameter of the low power mag in microns over diameter of high power in microns equal to total magnification right there, total magnification of high power over total magnification of low power. So 200 right here, 2 millimeter is equal to 200 right here, 2 millimeter is equal to 200 so that goes up here over X, I don't know how much is in high power from one end of lens to the other end of the field of the view you're looking at. Equal to 400, I know that. 100, I know that. I already showed it to you guys from here. Then you do simple calculation. 200 times 100 divided by 400 is equal to 500. I hope you can, guys can see all of that, uh, those calculations right here. You can see the calculations there. So if I go to high power on your microscope right here, I hope you can see it, the whole entire field right here. Okay, that's better. So if I go to high power, you guys, let's go to high power. Of course, I cannot see, I only see a portion uh, of the E. So I don't know from here to here is how many micron. Based on the calculations, I know from this end to that end is 500 micron. The ruler cannot tell me uh, how uh, big is micron. A couple of other things that um, you should know is, um, I'm gonna go back to this and I'll show you a few other things. Uh, we have two type of slides. These are permanent slides. They are they put glue, they put a cover slip on top and they glued it so you're looking at it and there is a label here. So you always look at the slide this way, the way you can read the label. So you put it on the microscope like this and you can read the label and then you do whatever you have to do. Then we have other slides like uh, they call them, uh, that was a permanent slide. This is an example of a permanent slide. This is an example of permanent slide. These are all examples of permanent slide. Then we have a wet mount slide. The wet mount slide are the slide that you prepare. Of course, I hope I can get one slide out, okay? Just like that, there's nothing in there. And then you grab a leaf like this. Uh, this is LOD or plan. You grab one leaflet and you put it on slide you, of course, you always have to add something, either the water or you stain methylene blue, um, iodine, which you already talked about it. You put it on top, and then here it is, a cover slip. You put the cover slip, but where are you, cover slip? Right here, I don't know if you guys can see that. Here's cover slip on top, and you put a little bit of poking on it. You put it on a microscope, make sure the bottom of it is dry. You put it on a microscope and you look at it. Okay, that's called a wet mount. When you're finished, we toss this. We toss the leaflet or your hair or your cheek cells, whatever you're looking at, you toss them. And then this one, the slide, we keep. We rinse it and put it on a paper towel. We keep these lenses, we don't toss them. This is a wet mount. Uh, a, a slide that is not permanent. These are permanent slides. So since you've been having so much fun, let's look at, uh, I think this is silk. Um, yep, this is, this is look like your hair. Uh, if you wanna make a wet mount of your hair, this is your hair, almost same size. 
and you can look at it, and they are all over. Of course, you have to, they stain these for you. They have all different type of um, silk. Uh, they stain them uh, red, uh, yellow, uh, blue, and that should be almost the same diameter of your hair. Uh, and then of course, the length is different. So that would be silk, and of course, you, you, I told you how, how to calculate it, how to calculate the diameter of your hair. This would be an <coughs> egg of a white fish. You guys can see that. I have to darken the field. Yeah. You guys cannot see it, right? Yeah, we have to play with lights. So right here, if you would, I'm on um, scanning power. Here is the egg, here is the nucleus, here is the nucleolus. Here is the egg, here is another egg, another egg, another egg. Let's magnify it. So that's the difference between you remember that? That's a 4x. I'm going to 10x. You guys see that? A little bit bigger. Right? Now you can see perfectly. I'm using the fine adjustment. I can use the coarse adjustment. Here's the egg, nucleus, nucleolus, cytoplasm, cell membrane. That's all I can see in this slide. And this is not a fertilized egg, this is an unfertilized egg. And then you go to high power. In the high power, look how big they are. And I have to increase my light. I have to adjust for the light and use the fine adjustment only. Oh, I hope. Can you guys see it now? A little bit. Oh. Uh, no. Okay. Let's darken it. Okay, now it's better. Uh, yeah, it's it's hard on these uh, to adjust and to look at it. Yeah, that's better. So you see how big that is. So if I want to measure it, how big? I have two of them in my center of my field. Yeah. So from here to here is 500 micron. Let's say you can fit three of these. Of course, you're losing some. You remember that? Um, two of them, doesn't matter. So 500 divided by two, it is about 250 uh, micrometer. This egg, from this end to that end, is about 200, so 200 micrometer. Okay, so uh, I hope I said everything about microscope that you guys need to know. Um, uh, you should be able to do this on your own.